Yo, what's the word? It's your boy 16. If you like the content on this channel, I want to ask you to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell for post notifications. Also, I got a website at www.16shotonvisuals.com. But that's enough of me talking. Let's get to what y'all came to see. Yes. So, you know, earlier you was uh, talking about like how like at 12 years old type shit, my folks start running to outside school and shit. So what age would you say you kind of like jumped off the porch? <laughs> Man, could 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 say that crazy. Man, I'm motherfucker. That's all I could knock. You gotta run from. <laughs> like what's like jump off? I say like I been in the field. Like since I was down there, like five, set, five, six, seven, jumping off the porch on some realistic shit. Like, let me see. You know. Like I was, I was the older guy. Before they had me doing all type of shit. For I'm holding blicks on the block. For them. they putting that bitch in my shorts. It's two thousand four hour type of shit. <coughs> but that's not considered jumping off the porch. For that's like you just you, you a product of your environment. That's for the real. intro, huh? It's like an intro you learn in the yeah. Ropes. Like you, you like this shit. The product of your environment. Like jumping off the porch. Like that shit. Like you, we game banging. Like a motherfucker say jumping off the porches. Just being in the field, you know, certain niggas jumping off the porch mean clapping niggas and shit like that. Like, you know, I can't really speak on, you know, I've been in the field like since I was young, but I can't talk about the jumping off the porch shit because that's not a story. What's up? So what were you into like early childhood type shit, like before teens? Like did you ever play sports, video games, anything like that? Everybody played on some sports, doing kitty shit, football, basketball. Everybody did that. It wasn't nothing that you was like passionate about as a shorty that you probably still do. Or I like the now? football, fuck. I was just run fast as fuck. That's shit. I don't you know. I hooped it with. We all played around in the gym and shit at the CYC Center and shit. The little youth center and shit around the hood. So I know you say you was like in this shit real, real early. Do you like, would it been so early? Do you remember situations that kind of led you to? Where you went type shit as far as the street lifestyle? That shit was downhill from the beginning, fuck. This is downhill from the beginning. That shit went downhill from the beginning. This shit was already this shit, this shit was already ruled out for me. There's no turn, you know, about real really like that one shit really got me all the way in the streets. We gonna get to that later though. That's really gonna be my next question. Like, was it a certain situation that uh that made me get in the streets all the way? Yeah. Um one of the guys dying and shit. One nigga rock died. That was like the first nigga in our age bracket that died. Like, that shit felt fake. Like, damn, for we we ain't shit but 17, bro, just died. Like, this shit felt fake, like. That's the first nigga that died at our, at our circle, folk. These the older guys that died and shit before. Four of them never died. Like our age, you know? Yeah. So that shit fake shocked me. Like, damn, folk, this shit can happen to us. We can get killed out of them. That shit. You remember, like, what year that was? That was 2012. That's crazy, because that's like around the same, yeah, a lot of people say, like a lot of, you know, that happened with a lot of them type shit. You think that's what kicked off like the drill scene too? The drill scene? Um, Where everybody like losing people at that age and everybody rapping at the yeah, same time? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I won't say, the drill scene, that shit really some rap shit, bro. The drill scene ain't no killer shit, like, oh, yeah, you know, the word, that's the word, that shit came from Joe City. That's Dro City and King Louie and the nigga Pac-Man them. That's they word. They started that drill shit. She keeping them ain't started that shit. That's dude, that's dude in front of Dro shit. So you know, what you've been in the streets for so long, was there ever times that you uh ran into situations where you did time or got locked up or anything like that? You say what? I said, what you been in the streets for so long, was there ever situations where you got locked up and had to do time? Yeah, I got locked up when I was like 19. They had caught a pole case. Then I bonded out, folded them bonded me out. I got out, 
got locked up again for threatening the judge. You said threatening the judge? Still, yeah, they put that shit on me, on Instagram. Still, <laughs> yeah, motherfucker told on me. Yeah, I was gonna say, how they found out? What, like, they was watching your page like that? Or? Yeah, they was watching my page. Like, they they was already investigating me, like, trying to build so, evidence on me. On some. Uh, oh, somebody told me, like, a, not just, they wasn't just watching somebody snitch on you, like that? Yeah. We gonna, we gonna get to that shit later, though. Well, we get to that now. Who, who he, he, <laughs> <laughs> we gonna get to that later. He ain't even matter right now. That nigga a rat. Don't say the rats. I ain't been on this is you know we gonna talk about that later though we gonna we gonna get back to that all right for sure so with that uh situation when you got locked up for threatening a judge how'd that go they 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 locked me up I was facing like let me see I was facing like three to like I was fighting one and three and a two to five so like my minimum years I could get is three years. So this like these my first two cases though. So they in that bitch trying to give me six years. They trying to do all type of shit. My first offer was six years. I'm damn. I'm finna die in this bitch. <laughs> I'm six years. I'm a little nigga. I can't do that. But as I'm being in this bitch, just sitting and sitting now, I'm getting used to this shit now. Now I'm learning how to bid and all this shit. Yeah, I was learning how to bid and shit. Oh my dead homie, Wiz. He <laughs> I'm learning how to bid and shit. I'm in that bitch. As time going, I'm in this bitch two months. Now I'm in this bitch four months. Now I'm like, I ain't even know I could do this shit. <laughs> so now I'm, that shit is steady going and going. Now I'm in this bitch ten months. Now I'm like, damn, I'm really a jail nigga now. <laughs> What the fuck? I'm in this bitch 10 months away from everybody I love and know. Then I did a year in the county. They put like four years on the table, four and a half years. I took the four and a half. Went to go do another year because I had a year in. So I was gone like two years. I got in school. I paused did that half year. I got in school, got like three months cut off. They got out early. So, you know, how was the experience for you as far as when you first got there, adjusting and learning and shit, like, you know, learning how to cook, learning how to spend your time, shit like that? And jail? Yeah. That shit was, that shit was fake. I was getting better with time, for like, that shit sound fucked up, like, getting better with time. I was just learning the shit that niggas been in jail was doing that I ain't know how to do, like, motherfuckers in that bitch. He noodles up. He noodles up and bowls and shit not, without no microwave, just sitting the noodle in a bowl oh, and some hot water and Let letting the noodle blow up. <laughs> I'm doing shit like that, all this weird shit, all this shit new to me. I'm in that bitch just bidding, folks. So then I'm in this bitch, a little nigga motherfucker telling me about all this jail shit. Yeah, they doing this to niggas in jail. They whooping niggas in jail. That nigga might stab you, all type of shit. So I'm in that bitch hearing stories. <laughs> I gotta put my game face on, you know? I ain't on no over tough shit walking around like, yeah, you looked at me wrong, I'm finna knock you out type shit. I'm just in that bitch like, if a nigga play, you know, it'll get like that. But motherfuckers wasn't on that type of time with me for real. I ain't really getting to it with too many niggas. Everybody loved me and shit. It was a lot of the guys in jail and shit. So that shit, once you, once other niggas outnumber folks, they ain't got no other choice but to join you. They in that bitch like, man, it's fooling him in this bitch deep. That's gang them right there. Now, we rocking with y'all. Niggas probably from out west fucking with us. Niggas up north, out south. You know, I'm from over east and shit. Niggas be thinking over east and out south the same shit, but that's not the same shit. What would you say uh, differences with, like, over east and out south? Over east? Ain't nobody fucking with over east. All them other sides, them niggas gay. Man, stop it, man. Up north, them niggas soft as fuck. Nah, they fuck. I fuck with some of my up north niggas. <laughs> out south, half goofy, half gangster. Out west, I fuck with out west. Couple of my niggas out there too. I fuck with all side, but you know, niggas from out west, they be thinking east and south, the same shit. But like, south, that shit like Inglewood and. That's Chief Keefe, Lil Reese, Lil Dirk, and them. Over East, that shit like K 
King Louis, Lil Herb, Lil Bibby and shit. Like that's what, that's them the side, that's how you split that shit up. That's who over there from over there, and we from over there. We not from the same shit. We from a whole nother, like our shit cut off. Like we got the last blocks over each, like the last 20 of them bitches. You fuck around running to the ocean trying to keep going. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's true, but like I was reading in the comments, uh, one of the fans was saying something like, before motherfuckers claiming like Blackstone and the older people told them to stop claiming that because y'all was in tour with Stones too. Man, ain't nobody made, tell made us stop like claiming own shit. Movement or some shit. Ain't nobody tell us don't do shit. We can't, motherfucker ain't tell us not do nothing. It's just, this how this shit go from the whole Chicago. That shit on some renegade shit, on some EBK shit. That's how all these branches started. All this renegade really? shit, ABK shit. Motherfucker. EBK. Because it's out here. GDs kill the GDs. It's Stones killing Stones. So, motherfucker, like, man, that. That. That Finball shit and that one little shit, that shit don't mean nothing now. Because niggas out here killing each other. So, now. Ain't nobody off limits, motherfucker. It's all about family and who you know for real and, you know, who you been with from the beginning, all that under the five, under the six shit, that shit only go with certain niggas. For you gonna accept a nigga for who he is or, or some gang shit. I'm gonna accept a nigga. I ain't finna say, oh yeah, it's that. It's one of the GDs. I don't fuck with him. I'm gonna get to know him and say, man, this bro, he cool. I ain't gonna say, man, dude, one of the moles or one of the BDs. I don't fuck with the BDs or the moles. I'm gonna say, folks, what's up? You cool? You know, I'm no limit and shit. I'm, I don't even nothing to shit. I don't give a fuck about the five or the six. I'm gonna get to know a nigga before any game shit. What's up?